So Apple announced the iPhone 6S in the latter part of 2015 with the Apple A9 processor. And then six months later, it announced the iPhone SE, the iPhone Special Edition, also with the Apple A9 processor. So if you put them side by side, which one actually has greater performance? Well, let's find out. Okay, we've got the iPhone 6S with the Apple A9 processor on the left-hand side. We've got the iPhone SE also with the Apple A9 processor on the right-hand side. It's worth mentioning a difference in screen resolution, 750 by 1334 on the iPhone 6S, 640 by 1136 on the iPhone SE, so not even 720p screen resolution. That is surely gonna make a difference when we come to the mixed CPU, GPU test, and when we come to the Unity test at the very end of the test run. And as we do this now, what's this gonna be? They're both doing the SQL light test, a very slow rendition of the SQL light test here by these two foes. It's pretty much neck and neck. Well, well, the SE, uh, fraction of a second, fraction of a second in the leads. They both now go into the JSON test. Of course, JSON is the protocol used a lot on the internet, uh, particularly in JavaScript for storing information. And it's important to see how well a phone can read and interpret uh, that kind of information. As we are into the compression test, this will take up different files and zip them up, which uses the CPU to do that. And of course, write them to the internal storage and then unzip them again to see how quickly it can do that. And doing that, here we saw the iPhone 6 6S now took the lead, so it was able to do that marginally quicker. That tells us something about the internals of the 6S compared to the SE, as we are now into the 16 thread test. The Apple A9 processor here going much, much slower than we've seen other generations. Of course, the A9 is not a fusion, it's not a bionic. It was a much, much different processor back then with limitations about what cores could run simultaneously. And we can see that as we go through this 16 thread test really is quite slow compared to late generations, neck and neck as we go into the blur test. Again, this really is the same processor in a very similar device. So this is gonna be very, very close all the way through as we're coming now out of the blur test and into the infinite scrolling list. The iPhone SE, a fraction of a second quicker there, probably also because it has less blurring to do because it has a smaller resolution screen as it's gone now into the smoke particle test. Again, resolution having being a factor here. Let's see what the frame rate is on both of these. 17 frames a second. 17 down to 16 frame down to 16 so pretty much neck and neck there as we come now into the 3d unity test this is a flyover which tests mainly the gpu capabilities of the devices and the iphone se is in the lead at this point of course as i said slightly lower screen resolution you can see that written on the right hand side there uh, down the long axis of the phone uh, 1334 by 750 on the left oh, there we go it's finished it's already finished two minutes and 32.8 and as i was saying that the the iPhone 6S has finished 2 minutes 36.5. Okay, let's break down those scores and see exactly what happened. So the iPhone SE came in first, 2 minutes 32.8 seconds, compared to the iPhone 6S, 2 minutes 36.5 seconds. Where are the differences when it comes to the CPU time? 97 seconds for the iPhone 6S, 96.5 seconds for the iPhone SE. When we come to the mixed CPU, GPU, 36.5 for the iPhone 6S, slightly quicker on the iPhone SE, 35.5. But the real difference was gained here in that GPU test, 23 seconds on the nose for the iPhone 6S, 20.8 seconds for the iPhone SE. And when you add all those times, the iPhone SE is the winner with 2 minutes 32.8. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up. Please also consider subscribing to this channel. Also, if you use Twitter, don't forget we have a Twitter account, Speed Test underbar G. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.